let's look at online dictionaries. There are a number of free resources online that you have at your disposal for your Norwegian language learning. Some of these resources are very reliable, but others are not. Let's first take a quick look at Google Translate. Many people think that you can plug an entire paragraph into Google Translate and suddenly a perfect Norwegian translation will pop out. But unfortunately, this is far from true. In fact, it is very easy for a native Norwegian, your instructor, or even a more advanced student of Norwegian to see when an online translator has been used to translate a text because the translations are awkward and do not sound like they were written by a native. So, don't rely on an online translator. It will not only give you bad grades, but in some cases it will be viewed as plagiarism because you haven't submitted your own work. Plus, you won't be learning as much as you would from writing it yourself. So let's look at some online dictionaries. There are some print dictionaries available for purchase, but today we're going to look at two online dictionaries that we think you're really going to like. First, you should know that because you are studying what's called a Lictal language, a less commonly taught language, that there aren't as many resources as there are for languages such as Spanish. As an example, we don't currently have an English to Norwegian online dictionary. However, there are two online dictionaries that you should learn how to use and you should bookmark them for future reference. First, let's take the Lexan Dictionary. You can either search for Lexan Dictionary Norwegian or you can click on the direct link at the bottom of this exercise. So let's start by clicking on the Lexan Dictionary and here you will see you have the choice of learning about the dictionary in Bukmol, Ninosk, or English, and you can certainly read about that there. And on the side here, you see all of the different languages that you can get translations in. So we have Bukmol to Arabic, uh, we have Kurdish, Polish, Russian, Thai, Urdu, lots of different languages. The one thing that you will notice that is not there is English. The Lexan Dictionary does not officially translate to English, but it does have the information. I'm going to show you this through Arabic. So if you click on Arabic here, it will take you to the next screen. So what you are officially asking Lexan to do here is to translate things from Bukmol to Arabic. And don't worry, uh, I will show you how to get that information. Okay, what I'm going to do now is search for a word, gut. So I type it in, and then we'll see several different things. One of the first things that you'll notice right next to the word gut here is you'll see an icon. And that icon, when I hover over it, says les hut, and that just means read aloud. And that basically is telling us that this dictionary entry has a sound file attached to it so I can hear the pronunciation of the word. And this is a great tool if you are learning a new word for the first time or if you need a reminder of, uh, of how to pronounce a, a word. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It takes a second for it to load. Good. In addition to the pronunciation of the word, we also see a lot of other really useful information here. Now, let's first go to, back to the fact that this is Bukmol Arabic. So, Arabic we see here is listed, but the Arabic is all listed on the right-hand side. And that is because Arabic is written from right to left. And that's the reason I like using it with the Lexan Dictionary because it's very separate from all of the information that I need. Now, if I would have chosen a language like German uh, or Russian, that would have all been written right here. And if you speak one of those languages, you may find that also helpful. But for me, I want to just see the bookmol next to the English. So I like the other information separate. 
So other information you'll see here is you'll see the part of speech. Now some words will have two parts of speech, uh, so you'll want to keep your eye out for that. Um, and then we have the English translation. So that's all the information right at the top. When we go a little bit further, we see here inflection. And inflection basically means how the word is going to change in different forms. And here we see gutten, gutter, and gutna. And those are the three forms of the word. So this is the equivalent to saying the boy, boys, and the boys. And so that also tells us that this is an N noun. And that's not surprising since we're talking about a boy. So um, going further, we see how this word is used in phrases. For example, gutter og jenter, which translates to boys and girls. But we also see how the word is used as a part of a compound noun. So when you're putting two nouns together, for example. So here we have skolegutt. And we can see a whole bunch of different examples of how that is used. So lots of information as you go down. Let's take a look at the Bukmols Urbuka. You can either do a Google search for that or follow the link in the portal. The Bukmols Urbuka is a Norwegian to Norwegian dictionary. And so it will include a lot of information, but you have to know how to read that information. One of the other things that you'll also need to note is that this dictionary is available to look up words in Bukmol, but also Ninosk. So you can search individually or you could search either. So I'm going to type in a word, jenta, and I'm going to search in Bukmol. Now, again, because this is a Norwegian to Norwegian dictionary, you're not going to see English translations. But what you will see is a lot of very, very useful grammatical information. So here I see it says M1 and F1. And that may not make any sense to you. So if you click on it, you'll get a little bit more information. So here you have M1 and F1, and basically what that's telling you is that it can either, the word yenta can either follow the masculine form or the feminine form. And if it follows the masculine form, then we will uh, use M yenta, yentin, yentir, yentna. And if we follow the feminine form, we have I yenta, yenta, yentir, yentna. For some people, they find that having this chart really helps them figure out exactly what forms of the word they're going to use. Whereas if you remember back to the Lexan Dictionary, it just listed the words out and it didn't have it in the form of a chart. Other people like using the Lexan Dictionary because it does have um, those translations. Once you get a little further with your Norwegian, it will help you to be able uh, to read translations. And so you can think of, uh, of that much in the same way as when you are using a dictionary in English. Sometimes you have to look up a word that, you know, you need the official definition of or you don't quite remember what the word means. And this can come in very handy for that as well. Okay, you have now been introduced to the Bukmols Urbuka and also the Lexan online dictionary. Now, if you go back to the portal in this exercise, you'll see that you are given five words. And your task is to figure out if those words are N nouns, if they are ET nouns, or if they are I nouns. And you can use either dictionary to do that.